Hey, this is David the Shepherd School, and I've kind of got an update on my aquaponics setup. And I also want to show you some uh, dwarf vegetable plants that I got from uh, the University of uh, Utah. Okay? Right now, my um, pump is going. I've got it every 15 minutes, or 15 minutes every, um, every hour. And the water pumps out up into these beds where I have some soybeans. Um, I've got some red Simpson lettuce. And then over here I've got some dwarf Microtina tomatoes, which was developed at the University of Utah for the space station. These uh, are uh, tomatoes that grow about 20 centimeters tall and they're they're made to be grown hydroponically uh, in space and so we're gonna see how they work okay the other thing that I've got is some perigee wheat which was also designed for the space station they've got perigee and apogee wheat and to tell you the truth I don't really know much of the difference except for uh, I think one grows 20 centimeters and this one grows 27 centimeters tall. Uh, basically what they did is they took some dwarf uh, wheat that was grown on uh, by the Russians, mixed it with, uh, um, I think, perula wheat to get this, uh, this kind of uh, wheat. And all I did with this was just kind of um, spread it out throughout my grow bed there and we'll see how that works, okay? So those fish are just goldfish and they run this uh, ebb and flow system or this actually it's deep water system and I've got a bunch of uh, Cherokee uh, pole beans in the back which is an heirloom bean, black bean and I've got some more lettuce in these and then I've got a couple peppers but then I'll have the wheat and then oh, and then I've got the uh, fish in there. Over here are my tilapia which are a hybrid of blue and pink tilapia and uh, my water's a little murky and dirty. I had everything cycled properly and then I ended up cracking my tank but my fish were already on order and supposed to come in the mail so I just had to uh, run out and grab a new tank and throw water in it and so they're trying to cycle it with the fish in there which isn't the best way and, and um, so the water's not near as pretty but they're growing really good and uh, I got 25 of them in there and hopefully I'll get a good breeder colony out of it and eat the rest of them so uh, that's all there is and we'll come back after these uh, the wheat and the tomatoes have sprouted and I'll put a link up uh, to where to get this stuff the seeds were kind of expensive they were six dollars a package but they grow, um, they've got tomatoes, peppers, um, wheat, uh, they've got some other stuff too. But, but basically it was, you know, food to be grown on, uh, on space station missions. Okay, so until next time, you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com.